Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to make this festive reindeer macarons filled with a delicious gingerbread buttercream. You can grab the free template for the reindeers on my blog. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I post new videos every week. Let's start by sifting together the almond flour and powdered sugar. And I'm also adding a little bit of cocoa powder for the color. If you don't use cocoa powder, you can use food coloring instead. Let's make the meringue. Place a bowl over a pan with barely simmering water. Add the granulated sugar to the bowl and egg white powder if using any. Egg white powder is optional and it's not right for everyone. I have a whole blog post talking about it. Please check it down below. Make sure to whisk the egg white powder and the sugar together so the egg white powder doesn't clump up. Add the fresh egg whites to the bowl and whisk until the sugar has melted, which should take a couple of minutes. Test by touching the mixture with your fingers and if you don't feel any sugar granules, you can remove it from the heat. Transfer the syrup to the bowl of a mixer. Begin whisking on low for about 30 seconds. And then gradually increase the speed to medium. I whisk on speed 4 for a couple of minutes and then I finish whipping the meringue on speed 6. It takes me a total of 13 to 15 minutes to whip the meringue, but you should never go by time. You should go by the consistency of the meringue. Let's take a look at what the meringue is supposed to look like. The peaks should be shooting straight up and not bending down to the side. And when you look on the bottom of the meringue collected by the whisk, it should have soft but defined waves. Add the sifted dry ingredients to the meringue and begin stirring. We're just going to stir until you see no more dry ingredients. As soon as you see no more dry ingredients, stop stirring. Divide the batter between two different bowls so we can make the antlers in a darker brown. You don't need too much batter for the antlers, probably a quarter of the whole batter. Keep one bowl covered while working with the other. Add brown food coloring to the smaller amount of batter to make the antlers. Fold with a spatula until the batter has achieved the perfect consistency. It should be flowing up the spatula slowly and effortlessly. You should be able to draw several figure eights with the batter that's flowing up the spatula without having it break up. And even after the batter breaks up, it should still continue to flow off the spatula effortlessly. Transfer the batter to a piping bag fitted with a size 3 round tip. Use a bag tie to close the end of the bag. Now it's time to work with the remaining batter. Fold with a spatula until the perfect consistency is achieved. We won't add any more food coloring because this is meant to be the face of the reindeer, so just the cocoa powder will be enough coloring. Fold the batter until it's flowing off the spatula slowly and effortlessly. You should be able to draw several figure eights with the batter that's flowing off the spatula without having it break up. And even after it breaks up, it should still continue to flow off the spatula slowly and effortlessly. I'm going to divide the batter between two different piping bags, one fitted with the tip number 10 to make the reindeer face, and the other one should be a tip number 3 so we can make the ears. This is going to make it easier so we don't have to keep switching the piping tips back and forth. Seal the bags with a bag tie, and now let's begin piping. These are the reindeer templates, you can get them on my blog for free of course, just download them, print them, and place them under your mat. Let's begin piping. First, I'm going to pipe the head. Just pipe a few at a time. After piping the heads, let's pipe the ears. After all the ears and the heads have been piped, you can pipe the antlers. Make sure that the antlers are connecting with the head, otherwise they're going to break off if there isn't too much batter in the intersection of the different sections. All 
Also, it's better to just pipe a few reindeer at a time so the batter doesn't start to dry out. Use a toothpick to smooth out any bumps or air bubbles. Remember to remove the template from under the mat before baking. Let the macarons rest until completely dry. I never bake shaped macarons without resting, otherwise they will crack. When the macarons feel dry to the touch, you can bake them. I baked these macarons in a 310 Fahrenheit oven for about 20 minutes. After 6 minutes baking, I rotate my trays in the oven 180 degrees. This is not a mandatory step and it depends on your oven. But if I don't rotate the trays in my oven, the shells are going to come out upside up because of the uneven heat distribution. Bake until you can move a macaron and it doesn't feel jiggly and the tops of the shells shouldn't feel soft anymore. Now once the macarons have cooled down, we can decorate the reindeer's faces. I'm using an edible marker to draw the nose and the eyes. And for the cheeks, I used a tiny bit of pink luster duster. To fill the macarons, I'm going to use my delicious gingerbread buttercream. Beat the butter until fluffy and creamy for about 2 minutes. Add the powdered sugar and mix until combined. Add the molasses and mix to incorporate. Also add ground ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg and allspice. If the buttercream is too soft and runny, add more powdered sugar to make it stiffer. Transfer the buttercream to a piping bag filled with a small piping tip. Pipe the buttercream on the bottom shells and top with another reindeer. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to grab the free template and the full recipe on my blog. The link is down below. Thanks for watching. Bye!